it's it's crazy and then some people yeah. is like go out with them especially like going back to bs especially when when, when it goes going out with the students oh i remember that, wait, that's I remember the funniest one part because they they're all like oh yeah let's go and like we're gonna get smashed i'm gonna drink so much tonight and you're just looking at them like they're all puppies they don't know what they're saying yeah. what they're doing and i'm just like okay let's go we're right to the first place uh, I remember this particular night. It was not the night out with UBS because usually, for, you know, first Friday you take all the students out yeah. to bars and blah blah. But it was the day before, actually, the Thursday. You found a pre, and, the and they I stayed. Wish I was in your course. And they stayed uh, uh, at the hostel at the generator, which I usually will go and just hang around with them, yeah. like play beer pong or whatever. So they said, oh yeah, come over, blah, blah. So I went over, bought a bottle of tequila, beer pong, blah, blah, I started drinking. And after we finished all the booze that we had, and we were being in the park and around, inside the generator, I literally got at least eight, nine shots each student of tequila. How are you? I literally got everyone shit faced, but to the point that the day after, half of the class didn't turn up to school. <laughs> literally, and and the, the half that turned up, like they were, half arrived at eight eight thirty in the morning, but looking like dead. Yeah, I was they probably didn't sleep. I was I was on like two hours sleep. I was almost you crying. About the proper bartending influence. Like. Yeah, that that was like bartending camp, and. The rest of the people was arriving like, oh, there he goes one at nine thirty, like completely <laughs> wrecked him. It's like I'm like I'm sorry. At some point it was like, yeah, it's okay, just just come in and sit down and chill. And so they need that. They most need that. most of them they didn't even want to go out the Friday. But then when we actually went out for the second day in yeah. a row and to the proper night out, they understood that maybe is not the way to go to just be like oh yeah let's go hardcore blah, blah blah and of the whole group there was only one guy that actually like was well not passed out but like he, he got drunk and at some yeah. point here yeah, i had to take him outside and get him some fresh air some food he, like yeah. i remember when uh, disposed of his internal fluids and then back to the bar no i remember <laughs> one of the nights i don't know if it was that one but i know it was probably a friday or saturday and I was working, and then I just see you with like 30 people following you. And that reminds me, I was like, that sounds wow. like EBS night. Because I remember that happening to me. Yeah. And I saw, then I see all these new uh, fresh bartenders. I'm like, all right, we've got the new generation. EBS night, here. and I'm like, yes, we're going to be at one Russell Street. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's such a good place to do That's the place. Like, man, oh God, I do, I've got so many stories there. But, Too many. Yeah. Too many. Man, one of my favorites was when it was the only time I ever had a tab going and be at one and this is when I realized wow. how much I drank two for one okay. uh, yeah you know I had friends that they put drinks on my tab but then also they bought me drinks and I went from 7 p.m until last all this free and I was pretty Ooh. impressed with how I kept my alcohol but my bill was 245 pounds what just yes I mean, I, I, honestly, in VR one, especially I think because the relationship that we had. <laughs>